welcome back to rolling with T-Bone. Pulling out of the AMR here. Rolling down the road on the uh, blue moon. Just out enjoying another beautiful day, another pretty day. Uh, you know, you'd be riding down the road and you hear things like pop, sound like a big loud gun going off. Uh, a little bit cool in the shady spot, so uh, what's been going on, guys? Coming off of New Year's, hope everybody had a great New Year's. Still sporting the light jackets and the light gloves in the south. I uh, just had to run a couple errands, so I thought I'd jump on here and get some content together. Pretty day just to get out and ride around and uh, talk to you guys just a little bit about what's going on. Uh, <coughs> I still haven't decided, guys, on one specific uh, charity. Still waiting on you guys to uh, drop down and give me some suggestions. And if you have, thank you. Uh, just talked to a couple of buddies of mine downtown there. They out going for a ride. Uh, kind of talking about the direction of uh, where things are headed with T-Bone and his channel and everybody who's seen, who's heard what my ideals are and the things that I'm planning on doing, they seem to, they seem to really be uh, uh, behind what my ideals are. Which is cool. I, you know, I, I really want this thing to take off and be something. You know, that's even if I only had one person watching, I'd still want to make sure that person was happy. But we always want to grow and expand and get a little better. You know, I, I'm a rookie out here doing this stuff right here, this motorcycle content stuff. Uh, <laughs> maybe not the best one to be giving people advice about doing it because you know sometimes you forget your camera sometimes you get turn it on sometimes you get to plug it up sometimes you just uh, got it turned on you forget to get your uh, <laughs> riding and you're supposed to be making content but uh, just enjoying this weather guys I got a feeling though once it breaks and winter time does show up it's going to be winter time in North Georgia for real but uh out here on 60 just cruising around but yeah uh okay guys i'm wanting to move forward push push things forward with the uh charity like i said in the last video you know kind of not a new year's resolution but it's just a uh, direction that i'm wanting to take my platform and take my channel find one charity local charity here where we live and uh man Tell you what guys we can do so much to help people sometimes even when we get down on ourselves and we think you know what can i do to do to help somebody what can uh you know what do i got to offer there's always something for you to offer time volunteering sometimes just a shoulder for someone to lean on I tell you this thing rides so much better guys with the new skin on the front and the back old milkman down at Appalachian Mountain Rides hooked me up. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of kind of where we're at, guys. I, you know, I don't mind just getting out and riding and just shooting rides and making content like that, but I'm really starting to feel like I want to try to get a purpose behind what I'm doing here. And like I said in the last video, I've always kind of been charitable driven. But that was that. But I'll tell you what, guys, looking forward here, man. Spring is coming on. Uh, I'm going to try, and this is uh, kind of a new idea, uh, just for me, you know, putting new ideas forward like the charity thing. I'm going to try to get a, a motorcycle dealership in with me on this thing. You know, uh, White Lightning down in Chattanooga. You know, a place where you can hold events and, you know, it's being, it's, it's, it's being done in so many different ways, but it all comes back to the same thing, just trying to help people. And I'd like to get me, I'd like to get a motorcycle dealership in it with me 
Uh, unfortunately, I don't, you know, here in Blue Ridge, we don't have no motorcycle dealerships per se that can kind of jump in on what you got going on. But uh, I'd love to get a dealership, you know, and it don't necessarily have to be a car, uh, motorcycle dealership. It can be a car dealership, you know, Ford, Dodge, you know, Chrysler, Chevrolet. You know, because uh, a lot of times, and the reason I say that is a lot of times when you get a dealership involved in it, you know, and you're doing a raffle like what Shade Tree Surgeon and them does with the Ford trimmer that they're getting ready to raffle off and the Harley Davidson Lowrider S, brand new one. You know, of course, I, we, uh, whatever charity I end up kind of trying to hook myself onto here, I'm not saying I'm going to try to talk a Harley Davidson dealership into giving me a new Harley Davidson, but you know, maybe just some gear, maybe like a helmet, like kind of like we did with Ball Hooting, because. Gail really got my juices flowing when we did the winter win and you know had a winner had a good time doing it I had a good time promoting it you know just a simple little thing to help her out you know supporting the local business help me out local because what I am doing although I'm nonprofit it is kind of a business for me because it's my channel I'm putting out the best content that I can but uh, you know, yeah, that's, you know, kind of supporting each other. And, uh, I'll tell you what, I think I'm going to turn back right here and go up Curtis Switch. It's been a while since I've been out on Curtis Switch. Might even take the old blue moon over Galloway. Uh, Galloway Road, I actually have a video in my list where I rode Galloway. If you want to go back, drop down, check that out. Check out my other videos, guys, if you haven't seen them. I've got videos in my on my Facebook page that I've shared from YouTube and the reason why I, I do that people say well, why don't you just put the link in the description and I, uh, that's because I'm computer illiterate uh, the concept of that has evaded me but I'm working on it uh, never claimed to be you know a technological wizard of some sort but you know what uh, <laughs> uh, when I was a kid and, and you know you people oh here he goes he's gonna talk about the good old days well I'm only 44 I'm not that old but when I was a kid in the 80s and uh, early 90s there wasn't a computer class there was a computer but nobody wanted and, and this is the key phrase I'm about to say to you nobody wanted to fool with it <laughs> So, because this was uh, uh, the beginning uh, of the, uh, you know, the Oregon Trail floppy disk was, you know, that was the game of the day on the computer. Uh, we still had typing class where we learned how to work on typewriters and such, but, you know, I don't know if it was just that we were in denial or that my generation just didn't care, and that's the one that I lean toward is that my generation really just didn't care. Uh, <laughs> uh, technology wasn't that important to my generation, I don't think. Oh, well, I can't speak for my entire generation of Generation X because there were smart people come out of Generation X, trust me. Uh, a lot of the advancements in the device that you're watching me on right now came from Generation X and uh, the first round of millennials but uh, you know uh, for a lot of guys like me it was just you know yeah it's a computer you know and then the internet came along and it was like yeah here comes yeah the, you know rich people have the internet you know what what do I need the internet for was kind of the slant of the day was yeah okay why do I need that uh, but you know, if you would have told somebody from my generation like me now, I'm not talking about a, a really smart technological person, but if you would have told somebody like me 20 years ago that this would be the world that we're living in now, I would have laughed at you and been like, dude, you really need to quit watching too much sci-fi. Uh, switch over to a horror movie or just a good old-fashioned comedy every now and then. Watch some Three Stooges. But, you know, here we are, and technology guys I, 
and, and me and somebody had a conversation about this a while back uh, actually technology seems to never stop it seems to always be advancing and it seems to always be moving forward ready or not basically here it comes and it seems like just when you get used to one piece of technology here comes something brand new but yeah, if you would have told me 20 years ago, T-Bone, you're going to be sitting on the back of a motorcycle talking to a camera, riding your bike down the road, listening to 90s music in your ear. I'm still on my 90s trip, guys. I haven't given up yet. Uh, I would have said, yeah, okay. What are you smoking, homie? Share with the brother. But, uh, yeah, here we are. And that's what I'm saying. It's all about and this is kind of the thing that when you're when you're in your teenage years or you're in your early 20s that don't really sink in because people said it to me and they would say you know evolution's always moving you forward things are always evolving things are always changing and sometimes they change for the better not every change is for the better sometimes things change for the worse but things are always evolving and moving forward. We see it in television, we've seen it in music, we've seen it in technology, we've seen it in motorcycles and cars and trucks. You know, whatever you're into, if you go back 20 years ago to that technology, to what the technology is today, you go, wow. Uh, things have definitely advanced. <laughs> But out here, just riding on Galloway, guys. Uh, but like I was saying about getting a dealership in with me, I, you know, not not like I've got the guts to go in and ask a Harley Davidson dealership, hey, will you raffle off a new Harley Davidson and give the money to charity? Because I'm sure not all of them are that cool. Uh, and I don't really have no contacts like that. I don't really have no, you know, dealerships that I visit constantly. Not to say that I wouldn't. But, you know, I've got like Appalachian Mountain Rides and Ball Hooting and, you know, just small businesses, local businesses that I'm constantly, I'm around somewhere. I usually stop in, maybe not as often as I should, but I'm usually in quite a bit. But uh, time's the biggest thing for me to find. And, you know, getting tied up with either White Lightning or... Uh, it's a Thunder Creek over in Dalton, Georgia. Thunder Creek. I think it's Thunder Creek, Killer Creek. Because one's in Cartersville, Carter, Harley Davidson of Cartersville. You know, those are those are kind of a ways off for me. Uh, you know, Dalton's not that far away. Hour, hour and a half, right? Uh, but Chattanooga, same. Chattanooga's only about 50, 60 miles from me. But sometimes it's finding the time in the day or finding a gap in your schedule that you can go do those things. Uh, sometimes the gap in the schedule just isn't there. But uh, you know that's kind of where I'm, uh, kind of where I'm going. That's kind of what I'm focused on right now. Still looking, like I said, very hard to find a charity that I can sit down and talk to their board and say, "This is what I'm wanting to do. This is my platform. This is how I think I can help you." And see where it goes, you know. Uh, and, you know, no fingers crossed or anything. Man, seems like it might have rained through here. Got wet spots in the road, but I haven't ran into any rain. And I hope all of my audio is coming through today. I just noticed on my camera, and I noticed it on the Christmas video as I was editing it. For whatever reason, if I don't hook my external mic up to this camera. I get static on my regular speaker, just my regular camera speaker. And I hope I don't develop that problem in the camera itself with the external mic, because if I do, I'll be in trouble. But yeah, just out here riding no Kirby Galloway Road, just taking my time, riding it at my speed, which is what makes me happy, just riding at my speed, don't have to worry about rushing and 
Am I leading too fast? Am I leading too slow? Am I stopping too much? Am I going too much? But I just wanted to jump on here and just let you guys know we're still moving forward. Drop down. Keep giving me content, comments. Keep telling me about our charities that we got around here local. Remember to find us on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook on Roland, R-O-L-L-N-W-T Bone. Rolling with T-Bone. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Support us, comment, like, share. And uh, tell you what, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying this very not winter weather that we've been having here in winter. Uh, but I got a feeling when the bottom drops, it's going to drop. But I tell you what, guys, my name's T-Bone, and I'm rolling down the road on the old blue moon. So until the next time I see you, you guys be safe.